Hello, class. Can you hear me? Hello, class. Can you hear me? Media, can you hear me? Nidia Esmeralda, hello. Can you, Reina, Nidia, can, class, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, good. You can hear me. Thank you. I thought my microphone was bad or my connection. Is it raining in your near your house? Yes, teacher, I'm uh, in my house. Is it raining? Yes. Okay. What about you, Edgar? Is it raining in um, La Palma, right? No. Hi, Joanna. Can you hear me? Hello, Raina Hi, Elizabeth. Teacher. Hi. I'm here. You're good. Welcome. Thank you. Edgar, are you there? Okay. So in this moment, Joanna and Nidia, you can hear me, correct? I need you to answer me because I want to know if my if my um microphone is working fine. Can you hear me? Okay, um Class, I'm going to repeat the question. Please tell me, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, yes, great. Yes, thank you, because I was going to restart the... Okay, please answer me, okay? Please say yes or no. Don't stay quiet, please. <laughs> because then I would think that my, my microphone, or maybe you can't hear me. Edgar, can you hear me? Irma, how are you? How are you? Good night. How are you? I'm I'm good. <laughs> Irma, Irma, you don't say good night when you say hi. I mean, you say good night. Okay. Or when you say goodbye. Do you oh. know? So you say good evening. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, when you go into a place, hello, good evening, everyone. And now when uh, it's time to go, then you say good night. Okay. No. Thank you so much for the for the explanation. No and worries. It was my day off. Today was your day off. Yes. <laughs> but tomorrow I have to get the job at 10 a.m. in Paris. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. No worries. Thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, yes, I see Edgar. Good evening, teacher. I can't hear anything. It's raining a lot. Okay, Edgar. What's raining? Here in Salvador, it, 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 I mean, by my house, near my house, it rained normal. It didn't rain a lot. Yeah. Normal. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so now we have Catherine, Reina, and... Media, okay, good. We're all here. Well, the majority. And Susie, where she said? Yeah, I'm surprised she's not here yet. She's always here. She will pop up. Uh -huh. So let me see. Let me open the portal. I like my job, uh, teacher. <laughs> really, you like it? But to be a stand all day, that. Uh -uh. But all the things that I have learned, yes. Yeah. What is it exactly that you do? Um, to get copies, do it, 
and every every document that people wants want wants it's okay if yeah. they want yes oh. now and, what uh, kind of people i mean are these people students from la uca or oh uh, what um every kind every kind how can i say oh not only students no, All so people. everybody mm -hmm. everybody everybody uh, because uh, we are next to btm and currently people is um updating the data and they are they are uh, asked for copies uh, yeah they need a lot of copies oh, Yes, and I have learned to use the post when the people want to to do the payment with a credit card. <laughs> oh, okay. For me. <laughs> and now, me. why why are you standing all day? You don't sit down. Only for have lunch. Only but for have lunch but why? Because you're very busy, or because they tell you you can't sit down. Um, both, <laughs> but it must because my boss, she doesn't want that. Nobody sit only, only the having lunch. Yeah, I but you know, I I think your boss, she she's not a good person because that, <laughs> that's illegal. I but my feet, I have a. Uh, and the horrible pain in my feet. No, because I, I no, but I know there are some laws that if you have a job where you, I mean there are some jobs that you do have to stand all day, mm -hmm. but there are some laws that after a certain time you have to sit down too. Yes, but in my case I have to everybody and uh, we are four. We are four in the we are for a partner or okay. co-worker. Co-workers. And all day we have to be a stand. And sometimes uh, the place is full or crowded uh, because they want copies, they want to print out, uh, they want to use the computer. By the way, you can use the computer. There are two computers there and you can use them if you want <laughs> for free. Okay. <laughs> oh, cool. That's nice. That's good. You know what is one job I would never like to do? Um, or no? A job, Um, sometimes like when you go to... um. You know, like when you go to a bank or Dollar City and you see the securities? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, man, I can't imagine that job. Because, like, for example, when you go to a bank or let's say a Dollar City, maybe it's not demanding, maybe. But only hecho, the fact to be standing yes. 10 hours, time goes very slow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult in a same place every day, all day in the same place. Mm. Yeah. At yeah. least I am walking around the. the no, but my... all yeah, you're walking around and you're busy. But imagine a security guard in, in yeah that they only have to sit next to the table ne next to the door. Yeah. I see. Boring, boring. Yes. Um, it's a boring activity. <laughs> yeah, I, I anyway, the necessity. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> but I have a good meal. Maybe I can get another job soon. Really? In a call center. If awesome. God allows. <laughs> if God permits. In which call yeah. center? Yeah, in concentric. Hey, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will start. I'm 
the training um, September 5th, September 5th. All right, good. And what account? Gap. Mm -hmm. And what what Gap will you account. what will you do there? Customer service. I will. I will do. Mm -hmm. I want to improve and win your classes. I want to be an expert. <laughs> because I want to be interpreter someday. Okay. That's a very, that, yeah, congratulations. Being an interpreter is a very good option too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or tourist guide. Maybe. That would be good too, tourist guide. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, class. So let me open the portal. Teacher, I always I have the problem that uh, so the most I can understand, but in the time that I have to give an answer, <laughs> all my tasks get in the way, as as song said. Maybe because you get you get nervous. Yes, <laughs> and because. Uh, I am still thinking in Spanish and I have to think in English. It's very difficult. But sometimes it pursues. Yeah, sometimes it happens. I lost the window. Where are you? Hold on. Let me. <laughs> okay. I lost you. I am here. We are, mm -hmm. everybody, we are here. No, my window as host. Ah. Uh. <laughs> hey, what happened? Let me see. Can you see me, class? Yes, we can. I can't. Be. Yes, the chair. It's like you're minimized. I, I can't find a window. I'm sorry. Give me one sec. You cannot minimize Zoom when you're recording a meeting. But how come I can't see you? Hold on. Oh, there you are. I see you now. However, I can see only your eyebrows. <laughs> oh, sorry, because I, I <laughs> no, right now I, I was looking down like, what, what's wrong with it? I was kind of worried. No, okay. <laughs> now I, we can see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I couldn't find you. I, I, I only had the task bar. I only had Zoom. But when I clicked on it, it the um the chat room didn't open. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, but now we can see com completely your fate. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. Now let me share my screen. Okay, do you see the lady on the video? Yes, teacher. Okay. So remember yesterday we were doing, uh, first of all, what is the past participle? And uh, that I, I don't remember because I was late yesterday. Yeah, remember past participles ado, edo, ido, odo, udo. Oh. <laughs> I mean, if you want to say it like in Spanish, nadar, nadado. <laughs> eh, comer, comido. So yesterday we were practicing a little of how to use progressive tense, uh, the ing, with a participle. Yes, I remember. So let's let's hear the video. Causes using by, because of, due to, as a result of, and through. Stay with us. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Before we go deep into the topic of passive with prepositions, I will divide the topic in two parts to make it easier for you to understand. Number one, present continuous passive. Number two, present perfect passive. I will begin now with number one. Let me show you how to form the present continuous passive. Subject plus is or are being plus past participle. What does the present continuous passive do? It describes an action that is in progress right now. For example, we may say, too many trees are being cut down right now, these days, or water is being contaminated. Ready for number two? Present perfect passive. This is how to form this tense. Subject plus has or have, been plus past participle. We use present perfect passive to describe something that started before the present. The exact time isn't important. For example, too many trees have been cut down recently or in the last years. In either case, we will add a preposition right after the past participle. We may add by, because of, as a result of. Honest. Do you understand this explanation? A little bit. Really? Yeah, it's understandable. Okay, then you will be my first example to um, explain what is a present perfect. <laughs> a present. Can you give me? Can you give me an example of a present perfect passive, please? Um, With El Salvador, let's say El Salvador. For example, if I say people getting sick. As a result of the pollution, or 
the positive. So let's say, uh, okay, okay, hold on, Irma. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, class, what about the rest? Do you understand that explanation that a subject, a verb, and a position, blah, 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 is a very, very technical explanation. Do you understand it? So, so, teacher. A little teacher. Okay, I need to understand what is a little or so, so, because I need a yes or no answer, because if it's so, so, okay, we're good. So I will ask you for an example. If it's a little, give me an example. Okay, so Joanna, give me an example of a passive, please. I don't know, teacher. But but <laughs> but I think you said so so no. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Who said so so? Okay, but thank you for being honest, Joanna. And, and you know what? I'll be honest with you, class. I know that you don't understand, and it's not your fault. This is very complicated grammar. It is very complicated. Para el nivel que están, it's a little complicated. I understand that. Yes. Yes. So it's not your fault. But what what it is your fault is that nobody I have right now, how many people? 14 people. Nobody is asking me questions. Nobody is telling me I don't understand. And I only have one, two, three, four, five, six people active. I only have Irma, Cecilia, Nidia, Edson, Joanna, and Edgar active. Thank you. The rest of the people, I don't know if you're in the class or not. I don't know if you just, I don't know if you're maybe you're in your telephone, maybe you're cooking, maybe you're doing something in, in, in the computer, but you're not participating in the class. So I will stay only with the people who are participating. So this is what we're going to do. First, we have to understand what is a present perfect. Okay, so do you remember present perfect? Let me explain to you what a present perfect is. Joanna, you're married, correct? Yes, teacher. How long yeah. have you how long have you been married? Um, wow, you don't 20 remember. years. 20 years. Are you serious? Yes. Joanna, excuse me. I'm really sorry. How old are you? 41. Really? You do not look 41. I imagine you look very young. So when you said Thank you've been you. married, yeah, when, when you said 20 years, I, I ask you that because maybe you don't understand my question. Okay, so you got married when you were 21. 20 years. When you were 20. Wow. Wow. Okay, good. So that is present perfect. I have been married 20 years. The action started 20 years ago and continues to now. It's still active. So present perfect is an action that started in the past and is active or continues to the present. Do you understand? So, Joanna, you are 41. Yes. And you got married when you were 21. Yes. So that was, uh, you got married in the year 2013. No, 2003. 
Yes. Okay. So that's when the action started in the past. In 2003, you got married. And the action continues. And now in present time, you are still married. So you have been married 20 years. That action started in the past and continues. Let me explain uh, what simple past is. Imagine you divorced. You divorced 10 years ago. Those are so simple past. I was married 10 years. Simple past is the action started and the action finished. Mm -hmm. But present perfect is the action started, but the action still continues to the present time. Nidia, how long have you worked in the pharmacy? Nidia, your 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 microphone, please. How long the No, Nidia, I don't uh, I no, don't I'm understand. Sorry. I I'm sorry. I uh, you have very, very do you have? Yes. <laughs> your microphone is 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 is. <laughs> I can't hear you. Your please. Okay, Nidia, your microphone. We could hear everything except you. Do you have a microphone? Do you have earphones? A microphone. Nidia, I see so you said. Oh, okay, it's Yuvia. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Edgar, can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. It's not raining anymore. It's raining, but I have this earphone that it helps. To... Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I always recommend to use a, a normal like earphones and, and microphone because sometimes if you use your microphone from your laptop, the microphone re captures every the surround sound. Okay, Edgar, do you where do you work? I work in Tigo Money. Oh yes, in Tigo Money, in, in your business. Yeah. In La Palma, right? In Nueva Concepción. Nueva Concepción. Okay. Are you married? Yes, I do. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> how long have you worked there? I mean sorry, how I, long have you been married? I have been married for four years. Four years. So, yeah. do you see the present perfect? The action started four years ago and continues, mm -hmm. is still active. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, that is present perfect. Okay. Es una acción que empezó en el pasado y aún está activa. Yes. Si yo digo, yo viví en Soyapango, I lived in Soyapango, doy a entender que ya no vivo ahí. Exactly. Yes. Pero si yo digo, yo he vivido en Soyapango 15 años, doy a entender It's que aún vivo ahí. Pero hay gente que dice, yo he vivido en Soyapango. Ajá. ¿A dónde vives? No, no, ya no vivo ahí. Ah, entonces lo está diciendo mal. Entonces lo correcto es, yo viví en Soyapango. Oh. For example, I used to live or in just Soyapango. Simply, or simply, I lived in Soyapango. Okay. But it's a simple past because it's a simple past. Don't complicate. I lived in Soyapango 10 years. Yeah. Or, present perfect, I have lived in Soyapango 10 years. Let me give you another example. 
who is oh, no, 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 no. Cecilia de Los Angeles? Are you there? Yes, teacher, I am here. All right. Who is Nayib Bukele? Is the president of El Salvador. Oh, he's the president? How long has he been the president? I think uh, he has been the president for years. Okay, I'm not so, sure. <laughs> yeah, no, very good. So why did I say Nayib Bukele? Because he started in the past and he's still the president now. Yes. Okay, so that is present perfect. Now, if I ask you who is Sanchez Seren, you will not answer, he ha he is the president. You said he was the president. He was the president. Yes. So that simple pass, the action started and the action finished. All right. So, um, Edson and Stanley, do you understand present perfect? What do you mean, teacher? Yes. Hello? Yes. Teacher, okay. Uh, yes, teacher. All right, good. Can you give me an example of present perfect about you? Okay. Uh, I have... Uh, I have 16 years of being married. I have been married? Yes. Repeat, please. 60 years. No. I have met. No, no, no. no. Oh. Wait, wait, hold on. Listen. I have been married. I have been married? For 16 years. For 16 years. Very good. Okay. Thank you, sir. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Teacher, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, I excuse me. Um, hey, what happened? We lost Stanley. MIA. MIA. Do you know what MIA is? No, teacher. Um, an example would be my dog has been lost. The present person. So you haven't found your dog? Uh, um, the present person, my dog has been lost. Okay, this is what I understand. Your dog is lost. You can't find, so your dog is not with you. Irma, is your dog with you or is your dog lost? Lost. You I'm can't. Lost. Okay, you can't find your dog. Okay. Irma, I am asking you a question. You can't find your dog. I not understand the picture. What don't you understand? Okay, Irma, you have a dog, correct? Yes. And your dog is lost. Yes. Your dog is yes. not in your house. No. Okay, what happened? Um, my dog has been a lot. ¿Me puede decir en español qué está diciendo, por favor? Mi Pero se ha perdido. Ok. No sé si se puede hacer un ejemplo así. Realmente es mi perro está perdido. O sea, sí, se puede decir. Y entonces por eso le pregunté. Eh, ¿Cuándo? ¿Desde cuándo? Ah, sí. sí. ¿Cuándo? Um, science figures. Since what? Science three years. O sea, desde tres años se perdió. Okay. So my dog has been lost for three years. Okay. Thank you. No, repeat, please. 
perdón. My dogs have been lost for this year. Okay, very good. I'm sorry to hear that, but very good. All right. Okay, but yeah, but thank you. Thank you. That was a very good example, Irma. Okay, so let's look at the example here. It says in, in, in my screen, present perfect passive. Too many trees have been cut down recently in the last three years. Uh, usemos el, el ejemplo de, um, de Irma. My dog is the subject. Has been lost. That's the past participle. Okay. My law, my dog has been lost. Aunque yo le pusiera otro aquí, el otro sería más el complemento. So my dog has been lost for three years. Okay. Let me see. Irma, how long has Joanna been married? Oh, uh, Joanna has been married for 20 years. For 20 years. Very good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Joanna, how long has Edgar been married? Edgar has, has been married for four years. For four years. Okay, good. Let me see if you really pay attention in class. Cecilia de Los Angeles, are you there? Yes, teacher, I am here. Okay. Do you remember how long has Irma worked in Las Cascadas? Uh, no, I don't listen. Nothing about that. Sorry. No, she hasn't mentioned that today, but she did mention it, I think, the first day of class. Who remembers? How long has uh, Irma... A month, I think. No. She has no, a, week. A, a week. A week, yes. Because no, I, she has started... Yeah, I need the complete answer. Ah, okay. Okay. Irma has been work at Cascadas for a week. Very good. Yeah. She has been working at Las Cascadas for a week, yes. Almost two. Almost two. Okay. Yeah. One, one and a half. One and a half. One and a half. Perfect passive to describe. Yeah. Due to, through, is the cause. Okay, let's do is here. Okay, let's do the knowledge check. It says rewrite the sentences using the passive and preposition given. Don't forget to use capital letters and periods. Do you know what is a capital letter? Well, the letter in the beginning. Yes, teacher. Mayúsculas. Mayúsculas. Okay, good. Le voy a, les voy a dar un, un consejo que yo no sé por qué en español no es así, pero debería de. En español, ¿cuándo usamos mayúsculas? Al inicio, al inicio de la oración, con nombre propio. Ok, good. Entonces, mañana es jueves, jueves va en mayúscula. No. Yes, no. No. En español, no. En español, no. Ajá. En inglés, sí. Ni por meses. Exactly. In English, every day, month is in capital. Yeah, exactly. Y tiene sentido porque es un nombre propio. Jueves es un nombre. It's a noun. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So, like, if I put in English, tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday is with capital. Thursday. I always I get confused. <laughs> 
when I I I want to write the the date. The date. Uh -huh. The first is the day. Um. Oh, oh in English. Yeah. <laughs> Always I, I confuse. Look, le voy a un consejo, a tip. Do you remember the attacks of, of, of the United States? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When were they? Bueno, ¿cómo le dicen esos ataques? 9-11. Uh, 9-11. Oh, September 11. Okay, good. So always remember that. 9-11. Oh, so in the United States, el mes va primero y después. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a trick. Yo a veces hago eso porque me confundo porque this is like Spanish and English. <laughs> like, ¿cómo es que va? And I remember, oh, 9-11. Okay. So in English, the month, because in Spanish is the day. In Spanish, <laughs> sería el 11 de septiembre. Y así le dicen, bueno, el 11 de septiembre. Entonces, septiembre. Mm -hmm. En inglés, septiembre 11. Uh, or, just remember that, 9-11, oh, okay, so, so it's September 11th. Mm -hmm. Thank you, now. Bien we... irónico, ¿verdad? Yeah. 9-11, 9-11, well, uh, emergency. Yeah. As the, uh, the number emergency, emergency number. Yes. Okay, Nine so rescue. Yeah. So rewrite the sentences using passive and prepositions given. Don't forget capital letters. Hold on, please. So here, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. The health of people in the urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. Se la voy poniendo así porque, como les repito, miren, esta, esta gramática es un poco difícil. Bastante difícil, diría yo, pero si le llamamos el lado fácil, no es tan difícil. Yes. Si nos vamos con el technical explanation del video, es bueno, de mi parte, yo no suelo entender así. La explicación que dio ella, y es correcta, pero es que yo digo personalmente, a mí me cuesta, no sé si es. It's a subject plus a verb plus the complement plus the, 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 the everything was very technical and you're like what? Mm -hmm. But the 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 because the objective is to speak, speak it, but you have to understand what you're speaking. You have to understand, okay? So air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. The health of people in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. Good. Livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water. Soil and underground water have been contaminated because of livestock farms. No sé si hicieron esto, pero quiero que sepan una cosa que hay más de una respuesta correcta. Uh, really? I yeah. I have done today in the afternoon. For example, here it says soil and underground water have been contaminated because of livestock. You can say because of livestock farms, the underground water and soil has been contaminated. That's correct. That's correct is another way to say. Yes, but if you put it here, the portal will say no. <laughs> Yo tengo años de estar peleando con ellos diciendo eso. Hey, dejen opciones. <laughs> Leave options because yes, sometimes there is more than one answer. The platform is squared. 
yes, it's it's very orthodox. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number that three. That exercise was very difficult. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, don't worry about it. So that's what I tell people. Hey, if the platform says you're not correct, don't worry about it. Maybe you are. It's just that the platform is looking for one specific answer. Yeah. So number two, the burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain. So I would say, uh, as a result of, by oigan esto, voy a improvisar aquí. It says, the burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain. As a result of. Uh, as a result of the gas, oil, burning, acid rain has been created. It's another way. Yes. Or it says acid rain has been created as a result of burning of gas, oil, and coal. Seven kiss coal. No, no. I I have a I have that word that I don't know. Can you explain for us, please? Do you see that? Oh, Ah, carbon. Yes. Mm. And I say that I I have to look. Yes. <laughs> have you ever? I, you know. You know what I recommend you. Um, the um. Do you make barbecues in your house? Yes. Uh, if you ever go to like Isalco, you know when you pass the volcano where all the rocks are? Yeah. The rocks from the volcano, from the lava? What? No. I have seen once, one, one time. I think it's in Motocross. When, when you're going to, donde es que uno va? I don't know, Santa Ana or Javali? something. <laughs> Javali, yes. <laughs> you're, you, you see a lot of, um, rocks black they look it looks yes. like coal mm -hmm. those are lava rocks wow. so um, i recommend you next time you go you pass by get some put them in a box in your car and when you have a barbecue <laughs> mix them with coal mm. the only difference is que no se degastan las piedras <laughs> really and they get hot yes i didn't know that until one man from a local man, he told me, take some rocks, go when, when you have a barbecue in your house, mix them. Because they get heat. I'm like, hey. Yes, teacher. Those those are good for cooking on the grill. Uh-huh. Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Now you know. So next time you see that, get some. <laughs> I am going to get some. <laughs> yeah, so. but I was bad because I started getting some, and you know, I I got I got a good decent box. And when people went to my house, everybody said that, "Hey, en serio?" Yeah, I'm, yeah, take some. And you know, people started taking some rocks. At that point, they took all my rocks. And if I hit. One is other. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Can I create fire? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, so um, the use of C CFCs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer through. A hole in the ozone layer has been created through the use of CFC's products like in hairspray. What is CFC's? Let's see. I imagine that is a composition, chem chemical composition. Yes, son una familia de gases que se emplean en diversas aplicaciones, principalmente en la industria de refrigeración. Y de potente aerosoles. 
I remember in the 80s, this was very important because suerte, man, but ya no se hace. But remember in the 80s, women used a lot of hairspray? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when I learned about that. You know, you say, hey, Aquanet se llamaba el... Joanna, did you ever use Aquanet? Not teacher. Really? The... No. I used Alberto Veo Cinco spray. <laughs> do you did remember? You... No, you know what I did? I do remember I used, and it was so horrible, Ralco. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. I remember. Yes. <laughs> Oh my God, that was that was impossible <laughs> to to take off. It was the worst <laughs> hair stylist. What happened? Does Ralco still exist? Mm, I don't know. I no, don't not know. It's this content. No, oh my God, that was so bad. Green, I remember as green. Yes, I remember I used them and I take a shower, put shampoo and <laughs> everything and I still had it. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> and the smell, do you remember the smell? How do you say mante mantecosa? Uh, uh, oil and mess. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> oily, it was very oily. Oily. Okay. That's very oily. And the <laughs> smell, man. The smell, it was. Huelía uno a viejo, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was the. um. I, I I also remember remember the shampoos in, in the little bubbles. <laughs> the sachet. Burbujitas, I think. Burbujitas is in sun silk. <laughs> yes, I remember those. <laughs> All right. Okay, now, here we, by the end of this class, you will notice the use of reduce auxiliary verbs. What are the auxiliary verbs? Let's see the video real quick. That woman looks a little scary, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes or no? The same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Imagine seeing her at night. Like, imagine Very seeing important. that outside in your window. Like, <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Okay, so this is where we're going to start practicing now. Um, you know the auxiliary verbs is, are, yes? Has and have, correct? Yes. Yeah. When do we use is? Well, what is the, dif what is the difference between, okay, hey, aquí les falto uno también, que es am. Am is for, for what? For what pronoun? And was? No, am is only for I. Okay. I am married. Correct? Happiness. Is is for what? She is. For third person. For third she person is. or an object too? Yes. He is, she is, San Miguel is hot. San Miguel is not a person, but it's a place. Mm. Esto está causando una gran controversia hoy en día en, en el mundo de los, la generación cristiana porque, oh man, las cosas, los pronombres. Like, 
los que no se definen que si son ellas, ellos quieren que les digan they, uh, whatever. So, pero nos vamos a quedar a la vieja escuela, ¿ok? So, okay. Es, es is for he, she, and it. Joanna, she is married. Edgar, he is married. San Miguel is hot. Okay, when do we use R? You, they, we. And plural objects. Okay, so you are married. We are married. They are married. San Miguel and La Union are hot. Plural. Mm -hmm. Or San Miguel, Usulutan, and La Union are hot. When do we use has and have? When do we use have? Have is has the... is for a third person. Okay, so he, have. he has, she has, and it has. It has. And when do we do we use have? I. I have, you have. You. I have, you have, we have, they have. And plural objects have. Yeah. Now, I have a question. I am and I have. Joana dijo que tiene 41 años. Yo tengo 41 años. En English, sería I have 41 years. But in English, you say, I am. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, I don't know why. I don't know. Okay. Does somebody know why I am and know I have? Okay, I will, I, I will explain. So, uh, Nidia, give an example. Finish. I am... Okay, I am for, okay, but otra cosa, give me give me something. I am happy. Puedo uno puede decir I am I am drink. No. Yes, I am drink coffee. No. Give me an example. I am what? I am give me a description. I am happy. I am yeah. Okay, I am happy. Edson, give me an example. I am angry. I am angry. Irma, give me an example. I am uh, sad. Sad. Okay, entonces, uh, Irma said, I am happy, I am angry, and I am sad. ¿Qué tienen común happy, angry, sad? No. I am? Yeah. I am the No, wait, wait. Oh. Nidia said happy. Stanley said angry. And Irma I'm said sure, Irma said um sad. sad. So we have happy, angry, sad. What? Yes, date. Exactly. Exactly. They are adjectives. They are descriptions. Yes. So when you say I am, next will be a description. Not a verb. I am happy. I am angry. I am gay. I am sleepy. I am a doctor. I am, I a am hungry. I am hungry. So listen to this. I am 41 years old. Old is an adjective. Por eso que se dice I am. 
that is that is the cause. Yes, that is why. That is why. Entonces, aunque se oiga feo en inglés, así se dice, yo soy 41 años de vieja. <risa> Ay, no. Soy mejor en español, yo tengo 41 años. Pero, pero <risa> realmente en español tendría que ser, yo tengo 41 años de vida o de haber nacido, lo único que lo decimos corto. Igual en inglés, I am 41. So that is the difference. When you say I am, next is an adjective, okay? Okay, Joanna, Edgar, uh, Nidia, Irma, Cecilia, Edson. Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. So, yes. Por eso okay. no pueden decir I am eat. You can <laughs> say I am drink. No. Now, listen to this. I have. I have a house. I have a dog. I have a car. When you say I have, it's a possession. Mm -hmm. ah, now I can see. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a possession. Okay, class. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. We'll continue tomorrow, okay, on Thursday. <laughs> Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Wow, Nidia, está lloviendo fuerte donde usted. Yes, it's very nice. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye.